started. Um, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Welcome to Coffee with a Cowgirl. I'm Brett Kruger. Um, hi, Lori. I am joined this morning with my mom, Mary Oldenberger. Uh, and I'm pretty excited this morning because me and my mom are going to talk about uh, being a horse show mom, being a horse show mom and what it looked like for her and how her role as a horse show mom evolved over the years and what her role looks like today. Um, so super excited about that. Thought that would be so fun just because Mother's Day is right around the corner. And as you all know, uh, being a horse show mom and having a horse show mom in your life is a pretty important role and uh, big shoes to fill. And the stories are fun and endless. So my mom and I are going to share what our story looked like over the years and what it looks like today. Um, before we start that, though, I just wanted to take a minute and thank you guys for the amazing weekend at Straight Rail Ranch. It was awesome. Um, the Top Hand Cowgirl Challenge. If you were there, you know, and if you weren't, I hope that you've seen enough posts on Facebook to make you want to come the next time. Um, you certainly missed out. Uh, Dylan and I'm just going to do this once. Put you over there for a second, Mom. Uh, Dylan and Lou at Straight Rail are amazing people. Uh, we can't thank them enough for not only their hospitality, but um, their beautiful facility. Uh, the great cows. The cows were amazing. Um, they were so good. I settled them at our clinic on Friday morning, and I could hardly even get them in the back catch pen. They were tough which is always so much fun because it's way better to work fresh cattle than it is soft use cattle. And these guys were awesome. So thank you so much, Dylan and Lou. Uh, one thing I do want to give a shout out to Lou. Somebody's horse came up lame and at the very last minute, Lou offered Dottie for that girl to ride. And it was just like the kindest gesture ever. She sure made Megan's weekend. Uh, Megan has tried to come to multiple cowgirl shows and it's just never worked out and she thought that she was going to have to quit at the last minute and Lou came and saved the day so thank you Lou for your kindness and generosity um I wanted to give a huge shout out to our sponsors I mean it it takes a village to produce a show like this and we just want to make it fun for everyone and to be able to partner with the sponsors like we did was so cool uh the goodie bags were filled to the brim unlike ever before. We had amazing people like Straight Arrow Equine, Jackie Todd. Jackie was at the show. Jackie represents um, Mane and Tail, Exhibitor Labs, and Cowboy Magic products. Not only did she fill the goodie bags full of products, she also stocked the wash rack so girls could use the product throughout the weekend on their horses, try them out see what they liked and didn't like. That was a huge success. So awesome and nice of her. Um, Woody's Horse Treats. Woody's was a big part of our show. They gave us huge bags of treats to use as prizes throughout the weekend. Um, not only are they great products, they're a great company to work with. So huge shout out to them. Um, Keelan Irwin with Lucky Three Equine Horse Supplements and Dog Supplements. Kaylin stocked the goodie bags um, with her product as well. Kaylin was a competitor over the weekend, super supportive young gal, uh, cowgirl boss babe, starting her own business. Um, she gave out awards to two rising stars throughout the weekend. That was so nice of her and incredibly generous. Um, River Ridge Animal Chiropractic, Cassie Murphy. Uh, Cassie was a competitor this weekend too. And um, Cassie was working on horses throughout the weekend, helping people with their chiropractic needs. Great job. Um, Jackie, we're, we were so excited to have you. You too, Jan. Uh, Gold Arrow Equine Therapy, that was Megan Wold. Megan has the Beamer horse treatments and distribution. Uh, she was working on horses all weekend as well. She competed too. So nice to meet her. Um, and then finally, Allie Nordball was sliding a wild rags. 
Loved having Allie and her mom, Jan. Uh, they were selling the crap out of Allie's regs all weekend. Fun to have them there. Allie competed too. Uh, so thank you, thank you, all of you. Um, thank you to all my turn back help, herd holders. You guys just made the weekend amazing. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we are already gearing up for the next one. We don't have a date yet, but we are hoping for September or October back at Straight Rail. We've got tons of really cool ideas and things in the works already. We're already on the way home dreaming about things that we would change, what we're going to do. So definitely stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. Um, if you haven't seen already, Emily Williams with Emily K Photography. She's got pictures from the weekend up online. I am almost positive a bunch of you have already purchased stuff from her. So um, awesome. She does an incredible job. The pictures were amazing. So with that, uh, I'm excited to be here with my mom today. Oh, sorry, mom. We'll do that. <laughs> my mom is definitely not techie, so I'm super proud of her for being able to figure this out this morning. We did a little test run and uh, we got it and she got right on it this morning. So thanks, mom. Um, mom, I'll let you introduce yourself. I'm... Breck's mom, Mary, and um, my husband, Ken. Oh, we lived in Parkersburg. We still do. We still have an acreage up there. Iowa. Iowa. Yep, in Iowa. And um, that's where Breck was born. And we had horses. Well, we raised the whole family pretty much on horses. And... Uh, didn't do a lot of showing, just our local shows, fun shows, a lot of trail riding. Uh, back then, we didn't have a lot of money, so we got broke horses. Didn't spend a lot of money on them, but the kids had a lot of fun. So we're yeah. retired. So now we get to watch the kids. Yeah. Um, we should back up, Mom, because you guys were always in horses, but I was... There is a how big of a gap between me and the next youngest in our family? Uh, 10 years. Yes. So <laughs> I was the second part of their family. Uh, they had already done the whole horse show scene and gig, but it was on um, more of a local, like you did a lot more like the fun shows and that sort of thing with them. <laughs> Supported 4-H. Uh, the kids did a lot of showing in 4-H. And uh, the two older girls, uh, the oldest girl loved horses and loved to show horses. The second one, she loved horses and she liked to show horses, but she'd rather show sheep at the time. <laughs> uh, our son, he decided probably by the age of six, seven, horses weren't for him. He'd rather have a motor underneath of him because he always got dumped. So <laughs> Chad liked to see him from, he would be on the ground and the horse could be doing something else. <laughs> Still that way. Yeah. Still that way. So when I came along, um, I don't even know how we even got into, cause I didn't really do any of the saddle club stuff. No, uh, I was working at the time uh, started a new job working for the government and you usually were going with your dad to the sale barns and um, one thing led to another you loved horses and we put on the little kids rodeo at our county fair dad would bring home ponies um, that were usually yearlings or something that a kid shouldn't get hurt on but we bucked them out and you would stand in the feed bunk when they'd be fed and jump on one and let it take you out in the field and you jump off and race it back to the feed. That's how you got started with your love of ponies, I think, or horses. And I think so too. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that we went through a lot of rotten ones before we found a good one, <laughs> yep. which is, uh, that's how you become a rider, I think. And um, that's how you make yourself. And uh, so it wasn't long. I don't, when did we get started in POAs? It was probably eight or nine. You, yep. You were probably nine years old. And uh, we found 
we didn't want to put you on anything young. We wanted something that was broke really well because we didn't want you to get hurt. Get hurt. And we found this um, old POA from Jan Rogers. And um, she was probably one of the best ponies that we ever had. Yeah. She raised, it. raised a lot of colts for you. Oh, she was like 17 when we bought her. So she had some age on her, maybe even older. Um, I think when she died, she was 23, 24, something like that. Well, she had her last. <laughs> my, my husband's sitting in the background listening to all this. <laughs> well, so anyway, we bought crickets and um, we didn't, we got into the POAs then after that, like right away, pretty much. And yeah. I remember, well, first of all, my mom worked a full-time job. She's definitely one of the horse show moms who worked a full-time job. And she sacrificed her paycheck pretty much to do this. <laughs> and uh, she made my horse show clothes. You made my horse show clothes. Yeah. And um, we didn't have anything fancy, but we always made it work. And the very first trailer... My mom, when we were talking yesterday, she goes, well, I thought of a few stories. And I said, well, what did you think about? And she was telling me and I started laughing and I said, um, well, the thing that I thought about, first of all, is we had the very first horse trailer we had was uh, a four horse inline and it was like a 1970 something probably. And it was black and across the top of it, it said black domino racing stables and it had dominoes on it. <laughs> and we pulled that thing everywhere. We thought it was great because all we had was dad's stock trailer at the time. So um, I remember the very, like one of the very first shows that we took it to, we went to uh, Exarbon in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> and um, you probably were the story of the people who uh, pulled up in the shit rig with, the horse that cost the least out of everybody, but we won everything that weekend. And we just, we didn't have like an expensive trainer or anything like that. It was kind of uh, death by fire or however you say that. Uh, <laughs> we just did it and um, she did it all and she did it all good. So she taught us a ton. And then um, after crickets, we went and, but um, we got a little bit more serious and we went and bought a young horse, Tipper. And he too, I don't, what well, Tipper was the most expensive pony I ever have. And I think that I paid, you paid, I didn't. You guys paid like 1700 for him. Does that sound about right? So between 17 and 2000 for him. At that time, we thought it was a lot of money. That was a lot of money back then. Yeah. And, um, and uh, Tipper was young. He was only three and, he wasn't really that broke. And so we spent all winter working with him and um, mom, I think that after we bought Tipper, then we upgraded into a living quarters trailer that was not the black domino anymore. And uh, you uh, would get in the truck. You didn't know how to drive the truck and trailer very well at that <laughs> point. Right. 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 I, and I went out of my comfort zone to take you to the horse shows. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's more than I can say about what I would do for my kids because I don't really know how to drive it and I don't really want to by myself. Um, uh, anyway, you would get off work on Thursday or night and we would jump in the truck and head to the horse shows. And some of my favorite memories are, um, well, I think you taught me that we can make anything out of a crock pot. For in the horse show trail. I mean, we oh, it cooked lots of food. Um, and some funny memories are one time we went to Lansing, Michigan, and it was just me and my mom, and we traveled with some other people, but it was just you and I, and we went to Denny's, wasn't it? It was late. Yeah, Denny's or McDonald's, one of the two. And uh, we were eating inside and it was like 1130 at night and somebody, we went back out to our truck and they stole the hubcaps off of our truck. <laughs> yeah, it was Danny's. Yeah. <laughs> they stole the hubcaps off of our truck. Um, 
Uh, what else, Mom? What are some other funny memories? Uh, well, in Michigan, um, we had the trailer hooked up, and we want when we pulled in, we wanted to get something to eat, so we went to McDonald's before I think we went to Denny's, and uh, they wouldn't let us go through with the truck and trailer, so we walked up to the window, and then they wouldn't serve us. So we ended up, I think, that's how we ended up at Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> At um, that time, we were trailering through Chicago, and since I didn't know the way, we were following somebody else, but we had walkie-talkies uh, from one truck to the next, and they were supposed to let us know if we weren't going to make it through the stoplights, and they didn't let us know in time, and we slid and just came within inches of back ending the guy in front of us. So it was one of those, you know, another one of those trips where I was really out of my comfort zone driving through Chicago. So. Yes. Well, my mom and I have put over on lots of miles over the years. And um, this weekend was just a great remind, another great reminder about all the things that horse show moms do because you just see them do so much. They're very unique individuals. We are very unique individuals because we're very supportive. We're caring. Um, we can be heavy at times, intense. I'm a little intense at times. Um, my friend Chrissy Renee, Chris and I went to shows in the homemade stack really at no top. <laughs> oh, funny, Susan. That's awesome. Those are, Susan has a funny comment on here. She can relate about the horse trailer and the rig and all of that. Uh, I, I totally feel like um, those moments are what make you and those moments are, uh, they are what make the best stories. I mean, when you um, have to work your way up to the top instead of starting at the top, it, it makes a good person and it makes a good cowgirl. Um, so I love that. It's so cool. Uh, so anyway, my mom and I have had tons of good memories over the years and a lot of fun times and a lot of sacrifice on her part to get me to be able to do what I love to do and ultimately make me the person that I am today. So thank you, mom. Um, and when I went to college, then well, I always think and I hope that I always think about this and I hope that um, it doesn't happen for me because I know that it'd be a really hard transition. I think it's hard when you are a horse show mom for many years and you do that every weekend. It becomes your identity and but it doesn't only come your identity. It, it becomes something that you truly love. And then when it goes away, it's super hard um, or I could imagine it being super hard because that's what you've known and loved for so long. Um, so I, I know Paige because my sister, um, my sister had her kids grow up showing horses too. And it became who she was because they did that all the time. And then when the girls aged out and she stopped taking them to horse shows every weekend, she didn't know what to do. She, I think that you just don't know what to do because it's a, uh, you're not used to having that in your life. So um, I guess I'm fortunate in the fact that the horses are our business. So I'm assuming that it'll always be a, a large part of who I am. When the kids go away, I'll still have to take care of Brandon. <laughs> be his horse <laughs> show mom. Um, uh, so anyhow, after college, or like when I went on to college and my mom didn't have that anymore, um, she still had, she still got to live through us and what we were doing. But then I think it got fun for you again. When we had, when I had kids, we had kids and the kids started riding and showing, right? Yeah. Plus, um, Paige's kids, I followed them. Yep. Because they started on your horse, your original horse. Yep. And so got to see, you know, grandkids show and then once you got married and then saying your boy show so it's kind of got come us full back circle again yeah. yeah yes come full circle again for sure um i 
think of now, uh, well, everything is pretty much live. We go to a lot of horse shows and ever all the horse shows that we go to are pretty much live now. So you watch relentlessly. Like try. <laughs> you're I try to crazy about it. She switched her she doesn't just try, she switched her whole internet plan around so she could make sure that she didn't drop service um while the shows were going on. So one of my favorite memories is um because she's so devoted to watching a show last year at the RCNC finals, which is a seven day show. We always bring lots of horses and the show starts at 8 a.m. And it doesn't get over till I'm not sure. Well, you can imagine with a family of four all riding, it's kind of crazy and hectic and it makes for long days. Um, ah, I was showing still at what time of the morning, mom? Uh, one or two o'clock in the morning. I think when I finally walked out of the arena, it was like two o'clock in the morning. And my mom had texted me and she's like, great job, because I happened to win the class. And I just laughed because I'm like, I don't. I mean, she'd been watching us ride since eight o'clock that damn morning. And it's one or one thirty, two o'clock at night. And I'm like, holy shit, mom. I just laughed because I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go have a beer and she's just going to bed. <laughs> so um, lots of fun. I think it's, I think it's funny to, well, your strong suit as a horse show mom was mom is that, uh, you know, you were always super good about making food and having everything ready. And I feel like what you were good at, I'm definitely not good at. I just started to have at the, food stand for my kids because we're never organized enough to um, get the food together and all that kind of stuff. And everybody's just always so busy. So I'm not good at that. But uh, I did take a lot of things away from you. Um, and the fact that I try to be supportive, I think that it's really important as a horse show mom is to teach them to be kind. A horse show is a great place to teach your kids to be kind. It's also a great place to teach your kids how to win humbly and lose gracefully uh, and be supportive of all those others around you. Um, and, and that's very important to me. I'm, it's a learning experience every single time for my kids. I feel like they forget the things that they should be doing. And so I've ripped them off their horse a few times for treating their horse bad or acting like brats as kids can do. Um, I'm sure it'll happen again that I do it, but I think it's uh, our role as a horse show mom is to be the leaders and teach them that. So um, we try really hard to instill that in our kids and because it was instilled in me, um, it's okay to lose. It's a good thing to lose. That's how you learn. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Yeah. And if you can do both of them gracefully, um, you'll end up with a lot more friends. And that's one thing we always said, working with horses, um, I don't know, it made, we met a lot of people that we never would have made otherwise. Mm -hmm. And uh, lifelong friends. And if it wouldn't have been for dad staying home, yeah. Weekends, to take care of the other horses and the dog. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't have got to travel to Michigan, to Oklahoma and some of the other places that were far away when shows were close, he always um, would come and come to the shows for the day, but go end up going home. Sometimes he'd stay overnight, you know, with us, but more than likely he'd end up going back home and, he supported what we were doing and uh, yeah, from um, a financial, yes, all of, all of the above. Yeah. So, you know, behind, usually behind every horse show mom, there's somebody back there um, pushing them on, giving them encouragement. Yes, you can do that. And um, you know, that's the main thing is to always be thankful of who's behind you yeah. and helping you through it. Absolutely. Well, I know that there is a ton of horse show moms on here. Um, it's definitely 
being a horse show mom is it's a the best thing. It's so fun to see your kids succeed. Um, it's so fun to see your kids grow and develop in all aspects of it from not only their writing ability, but watch them mature into young adults and see how they help people and how they support and coach others around them. Um, I, as a horse show mom myself now, it's funny because I get so nervous for them. Um, I, I do, I'm a little bit superstitious, a lot superstitious. And some may know this about me and some may not, but if we are at a big show, I usually will coach the first round or two, my kids through it. And then once they make it to the finals, you won't find me because I'll go sit far away. I don't want to, um, I, I just get really weird about, I don't want to make them nervous and I just want them to do the best job possible and always, um, no matter the outcome, but I feel like I bring them bad juju. So I just sit back and watch from afar. Uh, but there is, nothing better than being a horse show mom and getting to live that experience with them and watch them succeed and fail. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions at any time, please type them in the chat or you have something that you'd like to say story you'd like to share, let us know. Uh, mom, would you like to add anything to that? Well, not only being a horse show mom, but a horse show grandma, um, Mm -hmm. Your dad and I were pretty proud of the boys uh, last fall when we come up for the um, your year end awards to see the boys coaching the other little kids in the youth class. Um, yep. Really made our buttons pop to see that. Yeah, I that's I think that that comes with um, the whole package of, you know, being the all around horse show mom is to teach them those things. But mm -hmm. I just seen Lisa's comment about at Morgan's first horse show. Um, she was so scared. She was bawling before she went in the ring and I told her she could, we didn't come all this way to not go in the ring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that encouragement. Yeah. We've had those moments too. Those are funny. Well, um, anything else you'd like to add mom? Um, well, maybe a funny thing is when you went to Exarbon that time with Tipper, uh, sometimes we always had trouble getting him on the trailer. We couldn't, we, get him loaded. Huh? we couldn't get him loaded to come back home, wasn't it? Yeah. And you said, just call dad. He'll come and get, I said, your dad is not going to drive <laughs> all those hours out here. I, so two guys were walking in front of the trailer. I said, Hey, come here once. I said, lock hands, throw that horse in the tray. <laughs> so we, we got it loaded and we headed home. You looked at me. I looked at you. I said, don't say a word. <laughs> but we made it back home. And dad said, when we got there, he said, well, how'd it go? I said, don't ask. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, things that happen along the road, you don't always, you know, tell about. But it yep. makes you stronger. So absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed a little backstory with me and my mom. Um, well, we're both horse show moms now. So mom's got multiple roles, horse show mom, horse show grandma. She supports us all, all of her grand, all of her grandkids and kids. So uh, we hope that you guys are enjoying this awesome weather that we're having in Minnesota. If you're from Minnesota, um, we hope that you enjoyed our story. We hope that you laughed. We hope that you reminisce about things that you and your daughters or sons have done over the years and the steps that you've taken to put them where they are today in their writing career and in life. Um, we hope that you are able to enjoy Mother's Day with them on the back of the horse or just beside them um we are excited for next week we've got some cool things in store i'm not going to quite say them yet but we have some cool things in store for next week but we hope that you above all else enjoyed today enjoyed today and uh thank you mom for being on here and mm -hmm. 
stepping happy out there. to all the girls. So happy for you for stepping out of your comfort zone, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Happy Mother's Day. Have a great weekend with your mom. Bye, ladies. Goodbye. Thanks, Rex. Bye.